Would you agree with this characterization by Intel that this is the biggest jump in a decade? Look, I mean, the performance improvement is substantial, and it's particularly notable given that this is um, uh, an aberration rather than a substantial revolution in its cadence of uh, chip improvement over time. But again, one of the things that Intel has sort of moved away from is this notion of TikTok. Um, once a year improvement or, or, or once a year improvement in its uh, transistor sizing and once a year improvement in its architecture we've gone to a tick tock talk strategy and now this is a tick tock talk talk strategy so the improvements are becoming um, they're coming faster for sure but they're uh, relatively marginal improvement so when you consider that context this particular improvement in performance is uh, is pretty substantial with 40 percent the one thing though Emily I will say that this is um, not across the board improvement this is doesn't fit into its uh, overall master plan of uh, chip improvements uh, or its roadmap per se number one number two is that this is not across the board for all all of its chips so this is limited to its laptop platform it's predominantly four SKUs in the core i5 and the core i7 strategy sort of higher end chips if you may and and it's important because it it's it's a tactical move rather than a strategic move that's that's how we think about this uh, uh, chip uh, improvement and it's important because it should help keep the prices on the chips uh, towards moving towards the high end which is very very important for Intel so moving beyond the technical nature of it, Michael, what does this actually mean for customers? What will this new chip enable that the other one did not? Um, I think it enables uh, Intel, first of all, to maintain its dominance in the PC market and the desktop and laptop market. But from a consumer perspective, what it means is the things that consumers are doing increasingly, which is virtual reality, video editing, a lot of those things that are not just consumers but prosumers, uh, augmented reality, they're going to be much easier. And at the same time, what's happening with Intel is they're going to be able to dominate what are called the Internet of Things, whether that's virtual reality or in-home automation or self-driving cars. So it may be the once in a decade, but it probably won't be the last in this decade because the, the advances in technology around chips, th that continues to, to happen. And, um, and it may be what they're saying is a push for more companies to take their chips, but that innovation will continue.